Hey YouTube, Bill here. Today I'm going to try and do some wood turning. So I got it set here. Made sure that I have clearance all the way around. I got it on the lowest speed. I'm going to see if it shakes itself to pieces. All right, it looks like it's okay. Let's see what we can do. I got a skew chisel here. Let's see what happens. I decided I needed to move down to this end here because that's throwing it off balance. So I'm going to make that more close to round. Alright, now we're all roundish. So what I'm going to do now is give myself an indicator of where I should be going. So a lot of chipping down at this end so what I'm gonna do is come in here about here What I want to do is go from here as a sco uh, scooped out region there. The best way to go about doing that is with a curve. It. This is a, a dome here and then a cove into the handle. That's okay. That will just be a little further down. So now I'm going to go narrow out this handle here. I can pick up the speed quite a bit now because it's all round. <laughs> I 
right? And I also gave it a little bit of a taper, just a touch. And I think that's gonna, there's a big chip here, so I think I'm gonna cut, have to cut that off short, right about here. Make sure that doesn't go through. And there's a bit of a crack there. I might have to fill that with some epoxy. We'll see what happens after when I sand it. So I am going to start with 120 grit, work my way all the way up to 600 if I feel motivated enough. I should be able to turn this on fairly high. All right, it's been at least five minutes, more than five minutes. I'm gonna try this. It doesn't seem quite fully hard, but I'm gonna try sanding it anyway. That's 600 grit. The camera's not in frame. You can see, maybe you can't see, there's a little bit of a little bit of glare on that because it is super smooth. I'm going to go ahead and put some butcher block wax on it. Okay, we got our butcher block conditioner. I'm just going to turn the RPMs way down, spin it up slowly. Let that soak in for about 20 minutes, and then we'll whip off the excess. While that's drying, I'm going to shrink this down and get it ready for parting off. That's low enough on that side. As a last detail, I'm going to dish the top so that I can let it sit flat on the top if you wanted to. Now we're free. That's not the right way to do it, but I'll sand that clean. Thanks for watching.